What's going on everybody? This is Phil from Millennium Money Games and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video we are going to be doing a stock analysis on Ford stock. Ticker symbol is F. Now I recently made a video about this one a few months ago saying that I think Ford stock is a better buy at these current values than Tesla. And since then I am up 70% on the position. I'm going to dive deep into why I think Ford stock is a buy right now. And you can add it to the to the dividend portfolio because they just reinstated the dividend. But enough talk. Let's get started. Before we get right into this video, if you guys can just please make sure you smash that like button. It really does help out the channel and I really do appreciate it. Also, if you want to join the family, hit that subscribe button down below. It's that big red button. Just make sure you push it nice and easy. Don't go too rough on it. But join the family. We post here at least two times per week. And we make videos such like this one. Stock analysis, anything that has to do with investing, day trading, anything like that, you can find right here on this channel. But now, let's hop right into Ford stock. Ford Motor Company engages in the manufacture, distribution, and sale of automobiles. It operates through the following three segments, automotive, mobility, and Ford Credit. The automotive segment engages in developing, manufacturing, marketing, and servicing of Ford cars, Lincoln vehicles. The mobility segment includes Ford Smart Mobility, LLC, and Autonomous Vehicle Business. The Ford Credit segment comprises Ford Credit business on a consolidated basis, which is a primary vehicle related financing and leasing activities. The company was founded by Henry Ford on June 16, 1903 and is headquartered in Dearborn, Missouri. The listing name for F is Ford Motor Company. Ford Motors is currently trading at just around $20 per share at the time I am making of this video and they are up a whopping 128% in the past year. In the past six months, Ford happens to be up a total of 65%, which is absolutely insane. And why do we think that Ford is still a buy at these prices? Well, we are going to hop right into their financials and also take a look at their dividend while we're at it. Ford did just reinstate their dividend, which they suspended in 2020 due to the coronavirus pandemic, which a lot of companies did. Then Ford focused that energy on the, that they were saving from the dividend to put into the electric vehicle market, which I am very happy that they did. So Ford currently just recently reinstated their dividend. It's now at a 2% dividend with an annual payout of 40 cents per share. They have a payout ratio of very low, 21.28%. And their five-year growth rate is minus 30%, but that is just because they lowered their dividend to put more into the electric vehicle space which i am very happy about so they do have a dividend growth of zero years but that's just because they got rid of it last year nothing to worry about in my book so they do pay a quarterly dividend of 10 cents per share and that's really all to say about the dividend it is decent it is there it is something that will just help you build your account while you're waiting for this stock to grow. But let me tell you why I think we have a lot of growth coming for Ford stock and their push into the electric vehicle market. Let's hop right into Ford's financials. So they have been buying back their shares, which is increasing shareholder values going from about 4 billion shares outstanding in 2016 to 3.9 back billion shares outstanding back in 2020. Now Ford does it does have a market cap of just around $79 billion at these current prices with a P.E. ratio that is not too, not that great of 28.01 as a price to book ratio of 2.18 and a price to cash flow ratio of 4.75. They have revenue of $134.62 billion with revenue growth just sitting around 2.83%. So they have long-term debt of a whopping $24 billion with total cash on hand of $31.4 billion. So that debt does not scare me one bit. They have free cash flow of $3.64 billion and a debt to free cash flow ratio of 6.61. So that free cash flow is where their dividend comes from. So with a payout ratio of 21%, that is pretty safe with that amount of cash flow that Ford is paying. So they do have potential to grow that dividend and they have grown that dividend in the past. 
Now, like I said, they're focusing a lot of their energy and a lot of their money on the electric vehicle push, which I think is a huge step for them. And I do think that Ford will be one of the leading candidates in this electric vehicle push towards the commercial and commercial vehicle market, such as their F-150 Lightning, which is their electric. They compared that to the Tesla Cybertruck, and it seems to have better specs than the Tesla Cybertruck. And the Ford F-150 is one of the most, if not the most popular vehicles in America to date. People buy more F-150s every single year. I think last year people bought more F-150s just in the U.S. than people have bought Tesla throughout the whole world. And they're on track to sell 2 million cars this year, which is really just blows my mind that they are sitting at this value with how much revenue they're bringing in. And with their potential growth in the EV market, I do see this as a potential growth play in the future. Yes, I do think that Ford is more of a value play in general, but they do have a lot of growth aspects that can potentially lead to a very demanding increase in price appreciation. Let's take a look at some of the specs of the Ford F-150 Lightning, which is their electric vehicle version of the Ford F-150. So it is projected to go about 230 miles for a full charge for the entry level pricing of the Ford F-150 Lightning. And if you want to get the better one, it can go up to 300 miles of range. The F-150 Lightning will start at $40,000 for entry level, so a pretty decent price there, and $53,000 for the upper premium model. These prices also don't reflect the a potential $7,500 federal tax credit that you can get from picking up an electric vehicle. The Ford F-150 is not only similar in style to the F-150 Lightning, but in stature as well. Available initially as a crew cab, the pickup version with the biggest second row with a 5.5 foot bed, the F-150 Lightning pickup stretches to 232.7 inches and has a 145 inch wheelbase. The F-150 is rated to tow F-150 Lightning is rated to tow up to 10,000 pounds or 7,700 pounds with the standard range battery. But it doesn't come close to the 14,000 pound max tow rating of a similarly equipped F-150 with a 3.5 liter turbocharged. So that is just a little bit of the specs and pricing on the F-150 Lightning. I am very excited about this vehicle. I think it's going to do very well in the electric vehicle market and I do think they will be able to capture the a big big portion of the share the market share of the electric vehicles because of how many people own Fords and the F one fifties. I do think that eventually they will switch to electric vehicles when eventually down the line ten years it looks like gas cars are gonna be banned. So I do think Ford will have a big market share because this seems to be the next best thing next to a gas-powered pickup truck. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please let me know down in the comments. Tell, let me know what you guys think about Ford. I think it is a great buy at these prices. As we can see, definitely a good amount of growth in the future with these electric vehicles. If you guys liked the video or took anything from it, just please make sure you smash that like button. I really do appreciate that. Also, join the family. Hit that subscribe button. We post here at least two times per week. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace!